Hello everyone and welcome to my video. Uh, today I am going to show you some tips and tricks in uh, Windows 8. Uh, I just downloaded a couple of days ago Windows 8 Consumer Preview. Before this I actually used uh, <coughs> Windows 8 Developer Preview as well. Um, so let's dig into it. Uh, I'm currently at the user interface which is Metro style user interface. Uh, when you open up your uh, when you first install this is what you're gonna be you you will be seeing I have this uh, local account that I created you can use a local account on uh, Windows 8 as well as your internet account so let me switch back to desktop for a minute as you can see right here it says Windows 8 consumer preview and uh, now we're back on our metro style interface here as you can see um, not too many tools are available uh, in case you wanted to get to like computer management control panel programs and features uh, stuff like that are not available right now but we can get them back so let me just show you how but before I do that let me just show you a quick uh, access to those things uh, this is a, a very good feature if you go it doesn't matter if you're in metro style or you're in a desktop style if you go to left bottom corner of your screen and right click uh, this window would open up this is going to give you pretty much um all the features for uh ad um, for admin tools so that's one and it's going to be same as um metro style and desktop style too as you can see right here it's going to give you all the features. So sw switching back to um, Metro style and uh, desktop is quite easy. All you have to do is go to right, um, left bottom corner of your screen, just click, and it's going to switch. Or what you can do is you can keep pressing your uh, Windows button and it's going to switch. All right, let's uh, see how we can get all the apps on uh, Metro style interface. What you'll have to do is on the right corner of your sc screen just hover your mouse and this panel would open up that please do that while you're in, met in metro style just click on settings you will get this panel opened up click on settings again and here you can see this, this option show administrative tool bring the bar to your right until this one says yes go back and voila you have all the tools Now let's see, let's say we don't have command prompt here. How do we get command prompt or let's say any other application? What you, can what you can do is go back to right bottom corner of your screen and this would open up. Go to the search which is going to let you search all the application that you have. Type in CMD or any other application's name you want. Right click on that, you will get this small panel opened up. Uh, just click the pin to start and that is it now it's pinned to your metro style interface so pin to start is basically pin to metro style all right that's one now let's say let's open up internet explorer which is quite interesting in the metro style interface um the search bar is at the bottom and uh, there are no tabs per se um because if you want to get tab you you'll have to go right in on top of the screen if you right click this panel would open up and it's going to give you tab option you can add and stuff like that go uh, search for tabs and stuff I kind of don't like it but that's how Microsoft wants it and also there is one thing to note is that any application you open in Metro style interface is going to be opened uh, in the background that's what Microsoft is saying and they are sticking to it to get out of those applications what you can do is you can all press alt f4 and you will be out of that application and um, another thing to note in this um, metro style interface is that if you uh, right if you click on the right bottom corner of your screen it's going to give you a quick view of all the basic 
kind of like all the pages that you have on your metro style one page two page and three page that's one and another thing is if you right click on your metro style interface a small panel would open up right here in the bottom and it's you can click all apps this would show you all the apps you have installed on your PC um, whether it's hidden or not so like admin tools had we not enabled them they would have still shown up here and all you have to do is escape to get out of it you escape brings you to your desktop style uh, interface let's also check out um, we'll check out the store later so Internet Explorer in this um, desktop style is pretty much the same no change at all you have tabs you have search bar on top same uh, messages uh, nothing different and uh, let's see now if you wanted to go to control panel from desktop style as I showed you before uh, if you go to the left bottom corner right click you will get all these options but there is another way uh, which is a longer way but still there is a way where you go to right right inside bottom corner and just hover over your mouse over there um, a similar style panel would open up as you see in uh, metro style but the settings options are different you have control panel personalization and PC and for control panel is um, regular control panel personalization is regular personalization as if you were clicking on the desktop right clicking on the desktop and choosing personalization PC info is systems um, when you go to system and your com for your computer um, also if you click on more settings this PC settings window would open up this is a metro style PC setting window so you have user account notification personalization search and uh, share everything right there to get out you have to uh, press control um, alt F4 uh, to get out of that alright now let's see what we have in the store I like the store concept of um, Windows 8 though I actually install a few applications so to scroll basically you have to um, move your um, mouse um, sorry to scroll you, you you can just slide the bar and it's going to show you the spot show you all the applications game I this is very good game actually I played um, social networking, entertainment, photos, music and videos, books and references, so pretty much um, Microsoft is giving you all the the, the applications as if it was a, um, a um, tablet device or uh, or some kind of like a phone. Um, let's go back. Um, actually let's just check uh, if we can install an application let me try let's see it's all okay it's to buy I don't want to buy it so this is very misleading actually Microsoft um, kind of like shows that it's free but it actually is not free um, when you click on it you end up saying okay you you're um, you need to buy it before you mm. installing word word ament and um, word ament sorry um sorry for the pause there so as I said it was quite misleading okay the application is installed it says free but now once you click in there it says you will have to buy or you can try it so uh, I would much rather it just says you you buy it or you try it right up front and not say it's it was free so let's go back to go to start you can just as I said hover right here and 
this button would open up, you, this would take you out of the application, but your application is still running. So, as you can see right here, store is still running, and uh, you can go back to desktop as well. Alright, sir, there's one more thing that I wanted to show you, which is uh, if you want it, if you really want it, um, start button just like any other Windows. There's one um, application that you can download. It's called VI Start. And if you install that application, it's going to it's going to give you a start button which is pretty close to all uh, the other start button in Vista and Windows 7. So let's uh, just install this. This is from Leesoft. I don't have any affiliation with Leesoft. Uh, I'm just installing this for my own purposes. And there we go. Voila. We have a start button that looks exactly like a normal start button. Alright, thank you for watching my video. Have a good day. Bye bye.